Try, Adapt, Learn. In this video, we will try to clean more of the rust off the parts on our Ford 9N tractor project. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe now for more videos including DIY, maintenance, projects, and yard work. With the hood and radiator removed, more of the parts near the engine and the front of the tractor were accessible. Similar to previous videos, I wanted to clean more of the loose paint and corrosion off the surfaces of the parts. Keep in mind that this is not a how-to video, but just a demonstration and documentation of how I did it. I continued the process on the head of the engine because there was still a lot of loose paint and corrosion. The proper procedure would likely include removing, then cleaning each part with chemicals or abrasives such as media blasting or sanding. With the parts that are painted dark green, I had started this process as seen in previous videos. I'm continuing to use an old flat file because I found that it would save on the cost of sandpaper. The file also kept the dust and debris falling toward the floor rather than mostly in the air with electric tools. So although this process was done before and a little bit inefficient, little by little I was making more progress with the surface. This should help with the goals of delaying the rust or corrosion on these parts. I spent a lot of time on this metal wiring harness because I was undecided on if I was going to continue to use it or not. The fan is another example of a part which I had previously started this process. As seen on the fan, there's still a lot of work left. This is especially true on the sides of the blades that were faced toward the radiator. I also thought that it would be easier doing this process while the fan was still attached to the old water pump. Although this process was previously started, I wanted to continue cleaning the area around the radiator mount and front axle assembly. This area near the front was likely peeling from years of exposure and the contact with the leaking coolant. Along with delaying corrosion, this process will also help immediately so I'm not in constant contact with the rust or loose debris while I'm working on these parts. As I make new videos, I want to share them with you, so subscribe now! Also comment, like, and check out some of the other content on our channel.